Yo, what's up guys? Today we're watching the finale of Has Been Hotel Season 1! And if you guys want to watch Season 2 when it comes out, get this video to 26,000 likes. And if you guys want to watch the full uncut commentary, then head over to patreon.com slash spilling the milk. And if you think Alistair is Jesus Christ, subscribe. I think the song's gonna be like, I'm a loser. They're just gonna run it back. That has been my number one song and my on repeat on Spotify for the past like three weeks. I'm not f***ing lying. I've been listening to the Has Been Hotel soundtrack so much. It is insane. I have become Tumblr. Where are your wings? Nifty, I don't have- Did you ever think maybe she's sensitive about her lack of wings? Just like her lack of tits. Yeah, Angel just has a bigger chest than her somehow. And then Nifty is like, where? Oh yeah, now that you mention it, where the fuck are those tits? Angels are just liars. Difficult. But Charlie's trying her best. Charlie realized she was dating a cop the whole time, and like, I would not be able to mess with that. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I fucked a cop. I can't believe it. No wonder she beat my pussy so good. She did that to fucking innocent people. Is that any way to act after? Picking a fight with all of heaven and dooming everyone you love. I love Alistair. Everyone else is kind of like freaking out on what to do, and Alistair just like. <laughs> Someone in chat is saying it's the verbal ace scene because she's in bed. Dude, that's after verbal ace does not call her back, bro. He pumped and dumped that shit. Such a miserable display of self-loathing from you. Oh fuck you! What? She has said a swear word. Top five times SpongeBob has sworn. Don't call Charlie SpongeBob. A lot of people got mad at me in the comments for calling her SpongeBob. My Hasbro's will not get mad at me. So stand up, Hasbro's. I has an invincible exorcist army pointed right at my doorstep and there's nothing I can do about any of it. Oh, he's, she's gonna make a deal with Alistair, bro. Just that you and your little band of misfits might stand more of a chance than you think. It's gonna turn into the fucking stake seven parter in Adventure Time. She's gonna, she's just gonna kill every angel. All I need from you is one itty bitty favor. I love how manipulative Alistair is. He's on Charlie's side, but he's, he still like has his own motivations going on. Deal. No! I've got a certain music video I'd like to film. Oh my god, that's the backstory, bro. $50,000. No, that'd be crazy if it ended up being canon. Bank accounts are a scam created by the shadow government. See? That's why I hide all of my money under my mattress. Under my Ted. Under my Ted, bro. All of my money is inside of this bear. You're gonna reveal that to the public? I mean, it's not there. No. Well, who hasn't thought about eating their first husband? I certainly would have. Oh my god, this is Rosie. That's the name of the episode. This is the character. Rosie O'Donnell, shout out. Known cannibal. She's much too young for you. Oh, I'm just kidding. I know you're an ace in the hole. A what now? Oh yeah, because Alistair's asexual. Is he really asexual? He's such a top though. Your cannibals help at least to fend off the attack. Wow, when you ask a favor, you don't start small, do you, your highness? Your highness, guess who is the son of God, the royalty, Jesus Christ, another part of my Jesus theory, bro. But didn't Jesus have sex with, like, um, prostitutes? Yeah, he experimented and then found that he was Arrow Ace, you fucking idiot. Bro, she looks so slay in that. Like, she, she is just, very slay. She did not have to look that slay, man. Like, are you trying to win the slay competition? Because you fucking win. Like, I'm not even going to try. Why wouldn't you use what you know to fight? To avoid the very problem you and your little friends are facing right now. The music is so aggressively Spanish the second she starts talking. I love it. It sounds like the Spy Kids soundtrack. Angels attack quickly, viciously, and without mercy. You'll need to defend better than that. I, I feel like they're they're ending me with songs in this episode. Yeah, I keep feeling like, oh, this is where they get the song. Like, is it like intentional that they place the song so you never expect them? Because like, every song in Hasman Hotel feels like a fucking jump scare. Maybe that's going to be later in the episode. They're like, you've been expecting one an entire episode. We've been ending your bitch asses. I don't know if they would say that in the show. I just feel like that's kind of a weird, you know what I mean? You don't think they would make a joke about ending in Hasman Hotel? I feel like that's the most likely cartoon to ever make an ending joke. Everyone. I like the color palette of uh, of Cannibal Town. It's all red. The cannibals are like, they seem like nice people. Like, they seem like good people. Yeah, like, I, I would f with them. And, uh, wait, let me, let me start over. Wait, 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 w
She's like the one, like when you're playing a fighting game and you don't know how to do anything, so you just keep doing the same slide kick move over and over again. She's just side smashing the whole time, bro. This feels like a Hollow Knight fight. They look like Hollow Knight characters, okay? This is called Hispanic Knight. It's the sequel that just came out. Did you know angels could be harmed? No. <gasps> That shows in how you fight. She's so bad. I don't know. This is Zoro having his Mihawk moment. Charlie is Luffy. Zoro's Vaggy. Vaggy. Say it correctly. Vagagio. Strike the near, here, and here. With what? Well, I didn't really like her previously. Like, she's one of the lower characters for me. But I'm enjoying her in this episode. You know, I could use more husk, but I could use more musk too. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's fine. It's chill. Oh my god, Latino style upbeat music. This is a banger. This is a banger. I like they're dancing together. This is not a fight, bro. This is <laughs> this is a sparring match right now. This is a club banger, bro. I'm hearing this in the club and I'm gonna bust it down. I'm gonna bust it down second. I could see the Pitbull like Flo Rida remix right now. Dale! Mr. Worldwide! Details, details. My girlfriend is an exorcist angel. That awkward moment when your girlfriend is an exorcist angel. That awkward moment when your girlfriend needs an exorcism. Oh my God, she got possessed. Isn't that silly hotel of yours all about redemption? Yes. All about Red Dead Redemption? Yes. My favorite game franchise. Why don't you just be out for love? She fucked up. Sure. She's flawed. But hey, who down here isn't? This episode reminds me of the guy who jacked off his dog in the TED show. It was very difficult for him too. It's hard to get a dog off. It's harder than you'd think. We should be showing Vietnam veterans Hasbin Hotel. It would help them with their emotions. Show a Vietnam veteran this show, their heart would stop. <laughs> like genuinely. It's too gay for them. <laughs> explain your hotel by singing but that never works oh <gasps> she's gonna sing this whole show is charlie trying to pitch the concept of the show she's like so i have this idea it's about it's about a hotel you see and they redeem each other it's really good i promise it's really good to be the one who's leading from the front gotta come into my own those arpeggios bro they are arpeggifying the song as an italian like i love arpeggios and it seems to me that Destiny picked her? I'm more of a Hassan guy, but like, you know. Destiny and her dad share something very key in common. Similar stature. Oh my God, that's so true. Everybody joining in and singing along. I don't relate to it, you know what I mean? It's, I don't eat people, so. You look like you eat people though. You give raw XD vibes, you know what I mean? Singing, we're super duper grateful to have you folks aboard. This is a banger you put in in the car on your way to Golden Corral. This is like a wish song. Like I, I would not, this is not going in the playlist. When Adam brings the battle here, I must appear like I'm ready for this. Her head's so big in that shot, holy fuck. The foreshortening on her forehead was fucking insane. The 12 head on that bitch. I really hope that I'm ready for this. That Loki goes kind of hard though. So they're gonna eat all the angels? Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Ah, I got you a souvenir from Cannibal Town. <gasps> oh. Charlie. Are there gay people in hell? I mean, are there gay people in heaven or are all the gay people in hell in this show? Why would there be gay people in heaven? It's a utopia. Why are the writers trying to imply by having all the gay people be in hell? Or do they agree that gay people go to hell? If gay people are forever, then gay people are a lie. They said that in the last episode. We have a lot of work to do. What a whimsical fade to black. We've got a lot of work to do. If hell is forever, then gay people should die. What? What? Did Charlie from Has Been Hotel just say that? Yes, team. Vox episode. Isn't that crazy that we're watching this show and we actually know the names? We of the know characters. the characters' names and we're excited to see the characters' names. It's so awesome. This is the opposite of our hell of a boss watch through. Like, it's so funny. <laughs> it is crazy how polarized our opinions are between the two shows. Oh, Alistair, I cannot wait to watch you get. <laughs> <laughs> he's air away, dude. That's why he's evil. Because he wants to see him get fucked. Literally me every time Angel Dust comes on screen, bro. I cannot <laughs> wait to see you get fucked. If you see an angel, stab it. Stab, stab, stab. Hey, hey, hey. Not him. <laughs> oh, I love how he did that. That was elegant. I love it when they let Angel Dust do his like Slay Girl pity boss stuff. <laughs> 
fucking die. Okay. Okay, bro. You didn't really add anything to the conversation, so. React harder, bro. They're gonna die. Like, no one cares, man. Live tonight, however you want, because we're all gonna die. <laughs> That's like a has-been hotel moment. That's a trailer moment. If there was a trailer for this show, that would be the end, and then it'd be like, coming soon. I didn't mean to say has-been hotel moment. I don't know why I said that. I meant to say, like, ASDF movie moment. <laughs> I love I'd love to wish you good luck in the battle. Do you want to have this with me? I'm just so scared. What if we lose? You. Oh. <gasps> oh I'm gonna have a heart attack. Fucking jumped up. It always catches me off guard. They come out of nowhere. How do you know the lyrics? You guys have never sang this song together before. Shut up. Oh, it's a reprise. Also, they have sang the song before. This is what Charlie sings with his dad. They kiss. Gay people. Chill, loot. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Can, could you chill for a sec? I don't know. A million heaven bucks. How about that, huh? Yeah! A million heaven bucks. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, how do I get heaven bucks? How many Taco Bell fucking quesadillas can I buy with a million heaven bucks? Do they have Taco Bell in heaven? No. There is no way Taco Bell's going to heaven. It's only Chick-fil-A up there. Fucking thank <laughs> God, bro. I just had Chick-fil-A a couple hours ago. I'm going to heaven, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I love when Charlie swears because she doesn't do it that often. It has more impact. Yeah, it's like hearing the Christian kid finally start swearing. I appear to have some kind of shield, sir. Oh, really? I didn't see this giant fucking shield in front of me, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's a professional hater. Th and that's why I fuck with him. He's what I aspire to be. Like, he would shit on Fizzaroli too. <laughs> Focus, oh my god, they're doing the Avengers. They did the Avengers. Holy shit. <laughs> Marvel is washed. Has been Hotel is the new Marvel. This is written like if Joss Whedon was good. I'm about to end your fucking life. Nice voice. Don't you know jazz is for <laughs> Dude, the music's starting to crescendo. The music's starting to crescendo, guys. Don't you know jazz is for pussies, bro? That's famously... Who says that? Jazz is for people who get pussy. Like, that is just a historical fact. Radio is fucking dead! What just happened? Fuck. Oh my god, no. He beat Alistair? It's the Rock Lee Gara moment, okay? He's gonna get up in a second. He has to take out his butt plug, bro. Like, just give him a second, okay? Dude, someone is stronger than Alistair, bro. It's the first time. I need a power scaling video on, like, who's stronger. Is Adam stronger than Alistair? Adam Driver is stronger than Alistair. So that means Adam Driver's stronger than Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is like when Luffy goes down in an arc and then everybody else is scared, but then Luffy comes back, so it's fine. Yeah, Luffy had to go like chug a Gatorade real quick. Yes! <laughs> Miss Cherry Bomb, I love you! Yes! <laughs> That's how you know he's got two c He's He's kind of despicable me coded when you think about it. Like, these are his minions. He's growing up right now. He grew up and got a pair of balls. <laughs> Is he dead? Is Sir Ben just dead? No! Uh, he just vanished. He could have got the pussy, bro. He's so close. One crumb of pussy for my penches. There's so much action in this episode. And it's like really well choreographed too. Yeah, they went crazy. All the action scenes are well choreographed. They're well animated. But like the only thing I feel like they could have improved on is like the camera, dude. Because the, the framing of everything is like kind of disorienting sometimes when the action gets more fast paced. That's princess of hell to you, pig. Oh, she's finally fucking using her powers. They've been baiting us with her powers for so long. This is like Asta from Black Clover, but for a woman. You know what I mean? You just ruined my entire life with that sentence. Weak. Dude, this is like playing the knife game in like elementary school and you accidentally stab yourself. Like... They just destroyed the Hasbin Hotel. Damn. Live knowing that you only do because I let you. 
a failure. You should have taken the eye though. That would've been funny. That would've been cool. Got your eye. Ah, holy sh- that was a cool shot though. The Finn Adventure Time moment there. Dude, spoilers. But it's time to die with the rest of them. Charlie, bite his finger! <laughs> Daddy's home. Dad came back. Okay, seriously. How many of you freaks do I have to fight? Oh my God. It, this is like Hunter from Owl House, bro. We can see his face now. See, you mess with my daughter and now I am going to fuck you. That one line means there's going to be an infinite amount of fucking art of Adam and Lucifer fucking each other. I need it. <laughs> I get you. The music is so good in this entire sequence, dude. Oh my god, the music is so good. Why is the music so good? You oh my god, god. Adam's Adam. sexy. Adam is so hot. Is that Adam Driver? I look how I look. I can't I can't change that. I started everything on Earth! All of mankind came from these fucking nuts! <laughs> I really I really want to lift up his fucking skirt. Show his giant balls. Hey, you got something sticking out of here. Your thing there. Nifty! Nifty no kills Adam! Way. Nifty no kills way. Adam! Yes! So that means Nifty is the most powerful character because she she killed Adam. The power scaling on this is crazy. Retreat! All exorcists fall back! They fought hell and fucking lost badly. They got Omega Lold, bro. Like the only character on their team that died was the joke villain. Dude, Serpentius is dead, bro. They killed Serpentius, dude. It's so sad. No, no, they're gonna find him. He's in like a shadow dimension or something. That's in the spinoff novel. You have to read the novel for that one. Has been slain by a filthy janitor. The janitor said, quote, Charlie told me to stab, so I did. <laughs> That's, That's a funny, funny ass. Oh, they're there. It's, oh, it's okay. Where has been my hotel? Where has my hotel been? Guys, we need to about the fake tears so we can say the finale made us cry. So I need one of you guys to start crying right now. And the fucking eyeball cat both survived. Serpent is literally the only one who. How did Serpent just get beat by a fucking pig? The pig was canonically stronger than him. The ultimate sacrifice. One out for my boy. Pour one out for my boy. Like, that's the most random fucking character you could have decided to kill in the fucking fight, dude. For your story has just begun. Check out season two coming next year. Watch the bedrooms, we can fill it with more sinners than you can dream. So when did they make Hotel for Dogs? Is that connected to this or? That's season two, yeah. So long as I've got all of you with me. Yeah, they're already over some pentious. They're like, well, whatever. They're so over serpentious. No time for crying. It's been like an hour. It's been an hour. Dance on his fucking grave. And I barely escaped being killed by a hare. Woo, daddy. Daddy moment. Sorry, I didn't say that. I didn't, pretend I didn't say that. Once I figure out how to unclip my wings. Wings, angel, Jesus Christ, Michael. Jesus. Jesus. Yo, the Serpent just posted with the eggs. They pressed F, bro. They pressed F. Can I get an 07 in the chat for Serpent just? RIP the goat. RIP that snake p Oh, Dude, I'm so excited for season two, genuinely. What a what a surprising show. If has been hotels forever, that would be pretty nice, actually. Uh -huh. <gasps> Serpent just like he went heaven? To heaven? Oh. Hello. <laughs> Your brat is threatening the very foundation of heaven. Dude, this is Charlie's mom, bro. Lilith. You understand me? Lilith? Lilith? 
Little Nicky! Little, Little Nicky. Nicky! And if you want us to watch Little Nicky! Little Nicky! Get this video to 800 million likes! Adam Sandler's masterpiece! Thanks to Aeromir, Alzheimer's is a bad disease, we should cure it. Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Calm Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal X Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, G3 Om, Gov, Stargazer, Gioni Snare, Yorison, Helio, Hunter Pearson, Hummus, Isaiah Alford, Jace LaRue, K99, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Mirak55, Native5, Omega Waffles by the way, Patrick Case Randolph, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Sean City Navy Gaming, Tieran Stills, Trinity Martin, Val Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lime. Thank you guys so much.